Hello everybody, I'm Harold with Nature's Friend I'm already on the ladder. Today we're going to show you how to replace a smoke detector. So you get your new smoke detector. If you just got a, a, a chirping smoke detector, then it's your, chances are your battery is just bad. So you just undo your battery wherever your smoke detector is, replace the battery, then you should be okay to go. Okay, but if you don't, you take your smoke detector down and you undo this little plug it's a snap lock so very difficult so then you got your smoke detector down then you want to take <clears throat> when you have the new one you're going to have to replace this gadget here and we use a 10 in 1 because you got straight you got Phillips this little cover just slides comes right off. Then you have your pigtail. The chances are your new smoke detector is not going to match your old one. So what you have is your new smoke detector will come with one of these little pigtails like this that snap into your smoke detector. Okay, <clears throat> you're going to want to take your wire nuts off of your black and your white you're going to want to go to your power source now and then take your meter voltage tester or whatever you have and you test it to make sure you don't have any power okay so the power is off so then you can work with your pigtail now if you always notice you have a, a red, a black, and a white. And what they do is the white one is your neutral. That supplies power to your smoke detector, the neutral. Okay, you want to wire nut that on. And if that was still hot and I touched it, you'd get a big kick out of me getting shocked. Everybody always does. Okay, then here's your black one. So then you would have your new pigtail on. And now if you've got an older smoke, older house that doesn't have interlocking smoke detectors, your new one is going to come with this orange wire. What the orange wire does is it goes to your red conductor and that's what interlocks all your smoke detectors together because some houses could have five or six smoke detectors in them. A new house, an older house is done. So then you've got all your wires connected back and then you take and put your little bracket back on there. Gear it back. And then you have to tuck all these back up in your box. Make sure your wire nuts are good and tight. Then you just plug that back in to your smoke detector. It's polarized, so you can't go but one way. Polarized means it only goes one way. Then you put it back on, push the button, that just gone through the test mode. Your battery's good and strong now, new battery, new smoke detector, so you're all set and you have your protection from, the, from fire. Always make sure if a smoke detector is bad, install a new one so you always have that in your house. So until next time, if you have any questions, you can email me at naturesfriends at embarkmail.com. Thank you.